there, it's Bailey from Glowforge. I've been helping people just like you decide whether Glowforge is right for them for more than six years. From day one, actually. And I know that when I first learned about Glowforge, I couldn't quite wrap my head around how exactly to get my idea from imagination to the Glowforge. If you're not a designer, or even if you are, this might not be obvious since we kept the Glowforge pretty simple on the outside. There's just the one big glowing button. So in other words, how do you design for Glowforge? It's a question we hear a lot, and I like to think about it in three ways. First is the simplest. If you, like me, don't consider yourself a designer, not to worry. Some of our most prolific printers never open a design program. Instead, they pick expertly crafted, ready-to-print designs available to download from places like our very own Glowforge catalog, as well as other online stores and marketplaces like Etsy. And I'll let you in on a secret. There's a free design section on the Glowforge community forum with a ton of great ideas that are ready to print. Second, if you're most comfortable creating with a pen and paper, good news. You can create an incredible project just by putting a drawing or handwritten document onto the bed of your Glowforge. Your Glowforge's cameras will capture what you drew so you can engrave and bring it to life in materials like wood or metal. This guitar was actually created with just that technique. We placed this drawing onto the bed of the Glowforge, used the trace feature to capture it, and then printed the design onto the wooden body of the guitar. Isn't that amazing? Third, if you can create and save a PDF, you can create a design for your Glowforge. Glowforge can print many different file types, including JPEGs, like your family photos, PNGs, like web graphics, PDFs, plain old PDFs, and SVGs, which can be easily exported from programs you already know, like Cricut Design Space, Adobe Illustrator, and Inkscape. If you're a user of AutoCAD or similar software, you can also print your DXF files. And if all of those file names just sounded like alphabet soup to you, no worries. The important thing to know is that you definitely already have software that works with Glowforge. Even Google Slides or PowerPoint could work. Here's a quick design 101. Glowforge uses color to understand which parts of your print need to be cut, scored, and engraved. A cut is cutting all the way through the material, like scissors. A score is like drawing on the material with a pencil. An engrave is carving away material to create contrast and depth. Glowforge can also do 3D engrave, creating a dimensional relief engrave using grayscale image. One thing to note, if your design features any cutting or scoring, you'll need to work in either PDF, DXF, or SVG. JPEGs and PNGs are bitmap files and can only be engraved. Right here, we're using colored outlines or strokes to identify cuts and scores, and shapes filled with color to identify areas to engrave. And here's what that looks like printed on a Glowforge. That's all there is to it. Design for Glowforge can be as simple as a pen and paper or as complex as you want to make it. And just keep in mind, you don't have to be a designer to use Glowforge. Just a few simple tricks will help bring your designs to reality. And if you are a designer, I bet that since I started talking, you've already thought of a hundred different ways to combine your talents with a Glowforge. Oh, since you're watching, I'd love to know, what other questions do you have about Glowforge? Comment them here and we'll make a video to answer it in the future. And remember, if you want to get your Glowforge questions answered one-on-one, -on -one, just click the link below to set up a call with a Glowforge expert. See you next time.